where do you see the, uh, the, the apple trees going? So the idea is really to work with communities because communities have access to public space that is no longer needed by councils or other public sector bodies. So one of the things that I'm working on at the moment is, is collaborating with community groups around spaces that they actually already control or working with the council and communities to find new spaces to plant apple trees in. Okay. So I'm working with you know, a group in Cove, um, there's a group in Mary Cooter, uh, one in Huntley, so they're all over the place. And in some cases, the pieces of land are quite substantial. Mm. Um, and the communities don't really know, you know exactly what to do with, with all of the space they've got. But they want to bring immunity, they want to enhance biodiversity, the quality of the landscape, and all of those things are perfectly addressed by planting apple trees. How do you see it working in terms of uh, establishing the, the, these or orchards in these, in, these, in these areas? Would they be planted or would you be moving trees? And, and how would you be doing it? Would you be doing it through volunteers or through, through employers? Or? So, <coughs> it could be done in any, any of those ways, really, but the, the the, the principal idea is, is to um, plant substantial orchards, or even small ones, but, but to give them a permanent location. And the idea is to work with the community on the basis that it's a shared resource. So if the community wants to take a few apples, that's fine, but the majority of the apples will go towards cider production. But the idea is that it's a community social enterprise that then recycles any profits or income made back into the community into, in terms of other environmental projects. And how do you see this improving the lives of citizens in Aberdeen? So there's volunteering, it, it's, a, it's perfect for intergenerational work and, and connection. But also there's, there's, a, there's a climate change issue here. Right, okay. um, a lot of, of the cider that's drunk in Aberdeen or around Aberdeen will be imported over vast distances. So there's a, there's a large carbon footprint. And also the, the, the production of cider in, in um, industrial quantities is, is a very sort of um, energy intensive process. What we're gonna do is something that's very natural and very craft and, and therefore small carbon footprint. The planting of trees um, traps carbon. So it's a sort of carbon sink. Um, and also the process itself of, of creating um, the cider generates byproducts like the pomace, what's left after the pressing, which can be used as, as food for pigs or cattle. Okay. So it's, I see it very much as a holistic yeah. activity. Mm -hmm. And uh, my final question is, uh, is there anything you'd like to add that I've missed or that you wish to say that you didn't get a chance to? Well, I think one thing that's, that's, that I'd like to see take off, certainly in the short term, is apple donations. So people that have apples in the back garden, rather than just letting them rot on the ground, put them to Commonwealth cider, let's turn them into a really nice beverage and we can mix them with other fruits, you know, so you can have a range of different styles, different flavors. And on the back of that, create a local market or maybe even potential um, for exporting. So it's, it's, it's a nice idea at the moment, but we need donations for it to happen.